This YouTube channel started less than a year ago and already has over 33 million views. And that resulted in over $48,000 in revenue. And what they're doing is actually not that complicated. I've uploaded over 5,000 videos on one channel which all generate me over 50,000 views every single day. Ultimately, this success comes down to selecting the right topic for your video. And there are two key factors in making the right choice. First one is finding a topic that a lot of people are actually searching for. It's vital as it means that there is actually an audience already looking and seeking information around that topic. The second key factor is the competition for that video topic. If many videos have already been created around the topic, especially from big channels with high production value, then it's really hard for beginners to actually rank for these search phrases and get noticed. But how do you actually find a good topic with a lot of search volume and not that much competition on the other hand? I'm about to guide you through my foolproof methods for discovering topics that people are actively searching for and demonstrate how to predict whether your video will rank at the top of search results to stop wasting your time. These techniques are exactly what I did to scale just one channel to over $5,000 every single month in revenue. Now, you can rank high in the search algorithm, but if it's a keyword that no one actually searches for, you just wasted your time and no one will actually watch your video. So one of the simplest methods to discover what people are actually searching for on YouTube is simply by typing in words into the search bar. And if you type something into this bar, YouTube will give you predictions based on what people are actually searching for. As an example, let's type in Microsoft Word into the search bar. Then when we type how to after it, we can see a few predictions showing up. Microsoft Word, how to put picture behind text, or for example, how to change page numbers. But really, this only scratches the surface of what's possible with this method. We can use different combinations in our phrase to get as many options as possible. Let me show you how that works. For example, if we type in how to A, we get predictions showing up that start with A. And we can do that with B. We get predictions showing up with B, we can do that with C, with D, etc. We can complicate this even more and get even more specific keywords by adding more words into the phrase. So what we can do, for example, is we can say how to fix D. So now we get Discord mic not working. We can say G, how to fix G for now is currently at capacity. And these are all ideas that we would never come up with ourselves, but this is actually what people need. Another trick you can use is the underscore method. And this is what you can use if you want to make a lot of videos about just one app or software. So let's imagine we want to make videos about PayPal. Now what we can do, we can type in how to on, and now as we can see, we get predictions showing up, but if we add an underscore here in the middle, remove it back and put it back again, we get these predictions which are slightly different. Now we can do the same thing with, for example, Coinbase or any other app that we want to make specific videos about. And by using the underscore methods, we again get new predictions that we otherwise would not have found. Now this works really well. All of these videos are proven to work, but it's pretty service level stuff. And it's hard to stand out of the crowd and find these hidden videos that are actually gonna make you a lot of money. So a trick I like to use, which is something that I don't see a lot of other people talking about, is using the same phrases in other languages. For example, the phrase how to is in Spanish, como. And if we type in como in the search bar, and we start with A, B, C, D, and pretty much all the methods that all work in English as well, we now get predictions showing up for Spanish videos. And because Spanish is a way less competitive market than English, all of these videos are easy to rank if you start as a beginner. But a common problem that many beginners face is that their own minds hold them back. And that's because your brain tends to stick with familiar topics and concepts. You can only make videos about your initial idea, such as how-to videos on PayPal and Instagram. As well as this, there are thousands of people having the exact same ideas as you, which increases the competition, makes it even harder to stand out. So to actually stand out of the crowd, I like to use a tool called data.ai, which discovers new trending topics and apps which aren't that well covered on YouTube yet. If we head to the top of the data.ai website, you can see the top chart drop down. Now I'm gonna go to downloads, which will let me see the apps with the most downloads recently. Now let's make sure the filters are set correctly for us to get the best results on YouTube. To maximize the RPM or the amount of money we make per 1000 views, we want to target high end countries. One of them is the United States, which is the biggest market, which is why I would recommend to put this on the United States. Now next, we want to make the time frame a little longer. I'm gonna select 30 days. We make sure these apps are not just quick spikes that go down within the day, but they actually have some longevity going on. And as we can see, we now have a list of all these top downloaded apps in the United States over the past 30 days. And these are all perfect apps we can use for the underscore method on 
YouTube. Or the even better method to find high quality topics within just a few seconds. Because while the search bar method works really well, it can be quite time consuming. And using the VideoQ keyword research tool has significantly streamlined my process of finding high quality topics over the last year. Unlike before, spending hours and hours actually trying to figure it out myself using the search bar, VideoQ extracts all the keywords up front, providing immediate access to the same data. On VidIQ, you want to go to keywords right here, and this is where we can start typing in our initial keyword idea. And I'll leave a link for VidIQ in the description down below as well. For example, let's say I want to make tutorial videos about Instagram. Then I can simply type in Instagram how to in the keyword tool and hit enter. Then we get all these scores that we see right here, which we can kind of ignore, but the main thing here is matching terms because now VidIQ is actually going to give us a bunch of ideas based on the phrase we typed in right here. So by just starting with Instagram out too, I now get ideas like how to lead Instagram out permanently, how to download Instagram Reels, or how to run ads on Instagram, just to name a few. Additionally, we can also go to related keywords, which is kind of similar, but even better, as it's gonna give us different ideas that are related to Instagram, but not exactly matching. But by far, the feature I'm gonna show you right now is what makes VidIQ the best. Now you can click one of these related keywords that you think will be best for your channel, I can go, for example, with this one, how to target US audience on Instagram, as I think this is quite a specific keyword where the competition is not yet too high, so I think for a smaller channel, this can already work really well. Now, when we click this, VidIQ is going to give me more predictions, which are even more specific. And from here, again, we can go to matching terms or related keywords, which will give me predictions that are even more specific with less competition. Now, this is why I like VidIQ so much and why I've been using it more and more over the past few weeks. But the trap many beginners fall into is that they think they have a great idea, they make all the videos, and actually none of the videos rank and they get zero results. So I'm going to show you my foolproof method to make sure that all the videos you upload actually rank high in the search predictions. Now, when I do keyword research, I add all the topics with potential to a special list. And one of the topics is how to autoplay piano on Roblox. Then what I want to do to make sure it's actually a good topic, I want to validate it, I'm gonna search for it in YouTube. And now with the top three videos ranking for this keyword, I'm gonna open them in a separate tab and look at the data. And what we need to do for this, we need to download the Chrome extension of VidIQ, which you can download through the link in the description as well. Then you want to open all the videos in a separate tab, just like how I did it. And because you have VidIQ installed, we can see the graph of the views over the past few years. So as you can see, because this graph is not flatlined, the video is still relevant and it's still getting views every single day. And if we do that with the other video, we get a very similar graph, also very linear and probably the same with the other one. And as we can see, that is also the same case. And for the video that is ranking number one at the moment, we can see the views per hour and on average it's at around 20 views per hour. And if we do the math, 20 views per hour is around 15,000 views every single month with an average RPM of just $3. This video is already generating around 45 bucks every single month on autopilot. So now that we make sure that the videos are still actually getting views, and this is still a relevant topic, the next thing we want to assess is the quality of the videos. Now the quality of the existing videos already is based on four different things. The thumbnail, the actual video, is it actually helpful, the length of the video, and the title itself. Here I want to show an example of a phrase that is how to change currency on Cash App, but the first ranking video is how to transfer money from Cash App to Chime which actually is not matching with the keyword in the title, which means that if we make a video about this exact title with the exact phrase in the title, the possibility of us outranking this channel is really, really high. Plus the fact that the thumbnail is actually pretty bad, so we can already make a better thumbnail, which will also improve our ranking. If after checking all these factors, you can tell that the certain topic still has a lot of active search volume, the competition is not that good and you think you can improve on thumbnails, video length, video quality or the title, you actually have a decent chance of making a decent video that can actually rank and make you passive income for years. I hope this video was helpful and do feel free to download and get VidIQ through the link in the description as that is what makes these videos possible. Besides that, if you want my personal help or a full free guide of how to start and find these keywords and build your own search channel, check out the link in the description to my free training where I explain exactly how this works. And if you have any other questions, you can also reach me on Instagram. Also, the link will be in the description. With that being said, have an amazing rest of your day.